friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be dyeing my entire head of hair pink for Valentine's Day. I am so excited to be doing this. I think that this is going to be really fun. As you can see, I still have a bit of the pink in my hair. If you watched my last video, you know I dyed my hair kind of ombre pink to try to get rid of some of the brassiness and cover up some of what was purple down here and make it pink. And I just thought it was really cute. I really enjoyed it, but it definitely did wash out. Like the first shampoo, I definitely looked a lot different. And I know that this pink hair color probably is only gonna last me like three or four washes. I only have been washing my hair like once a week. So this has only been washed once and it already faded this much. And I did kind of more of a diluted um, solution on most of my head. So this time I decided I would do this entire head of hair pink because Valentine's Day is coming up and I think it's going to be really fun. And the first prompt for the Color Me Valentine challenge by Color Me Courtney is make it pink. So we're going to make it pink. Now, obviously, there's a lot of different pink hair dyes out there. I even watched some videos where a girl used like 16 different types of pink hair dye. And I had already bought this color because this is what I used last time. So I will be using Arctic Fox Frosé. And I really like Arctic Fox because it's vegan and cruelty free. And I really like the purple color that I used last October on my hair when I went a little bit witchy. So I think that this will be really cute and it might turn out a little bit more of like this peachy rose gold, especially towards the ends. But I'm hoping that I can get the top of it a little bit more baby pink. And so I also bought another pink color by them to maybe mix in to make it more of that bubblegum pink. So I'll show you that as well. So this is like their virgin pink, which is more of like a brighter pink, but I think it also is like a little bit more of that cool tone. So like if you look at the two, you can see that Frosé is definitely more of that peachy light pink. And this is more of that kind of like pinky pink. I would say this is more like a Barbie pink. So... I'm thinking that I might mix them just a smidge to see if I can get it to be like a little bit more baby pink as opposed to peach pink. But I do think the peach looks good. Um, but I do know that cool tones also look best on my skin tone. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing yet, but maybe I'll mix them together. Maybe I won't. We'll see how I feel when I get there. I probably should have bought more of this, but I just bought like a little baby one because I want it to mostly be this color with just a little bit of this tone of pink tied into it. There's so many different hair colors that I still want to try. I definitely want to go dark green at some point, which I know sounds crazy, but look at me in this wig. Yes, it's just a yes. And I would love to do some sort of like Cinderella blue slash purpley periwinkle tone and then a true like lilac purple as well. Before I go back to red, which I will eventually do it, I think, because I do already kind of miss being a redhead, but I'm having a lot of fun and you guys get videos of me coloring my hair different colors. So for this video, we are going to be using Arctic Fox, but maybe I'll try out some different kinds of hair colors in the future. So that's enough of this, me talking. Let's just go ahead and jump into the hair color portion. So I don't really know what was going on in the universe yesterday, but my shower head literally like split in two in a really weird twist of events. And my sink is currently broken. I tried to fix it. It still isn't working. I'll probably have to call a plumber, but I haven't yet. I'll get there. It's not important, it's a little important. But I did actually fix my shower head myself this morning, so I was very proud of myself. Reinstallation. You know, I've like done a lot of things that I never thought I would be able to do, and that is one of them. So we are good to dye hair because the shower head is fixed. I bought this hilarious <laughs> capelet, cape hair dyeing. Because I just feel like I do so much of this at this point, it makes sense, right? Like, okay, so it's got a little, little back side, uh-huh, the front side. The front side's very long. I, you know, I honestly thought there was going to be a little more to the back, because, but, hey, here we are. So, same sort of thing, I'm just going to section my hair per use, and then we are just going to, like, go for it. So, let's do it. I do think it's going to be interesting because I do have pink on my hair already to see like 
what exactly it looks like in certain places versus the places that don't have any pink on them. But if all goes well, then it should be like slightly ombre just because this part of my hair is obviously lighter than like the bottom parts here. So hopefully it turns out cute. So I was thinking about adding virgin pink, but I honestly think this is the bubblegum color that I want. So I'm gonna try it without it. And then if I feel like I want it to be more pinky, I'll just dye my hair again. So yeah. Okay, so the whole top part of my head and the front pieces are all coated in pink, especially when it comes to the conditioning color like this, like Arctic Fox. You wanna make sure it's like really on there, really in the strands. So I feel satisfied now. I'm gonna move on to Labac and then we're gonna be almost there. Okay, one, two, here is the last section, let's do it. All right, here we are. My entire head of hair is colored in pink. And as you can see, I made sure to get every last piece. I probably used about a bottle and a half on my hair. So not too different than when I actually dyed it purple, even when my hair was longer. I still just have like a lot of hair, I guess, which is good, but also it does take more time, more product. I digress. So I'm going to leave this on my head for an hour because I saw that's kind of what people were doing, especially just to make sure it really like seeps in there. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to eat some lunch, and then I will see you when my hair is ready. <laughs> And here we are, pink, 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 pink hair. I honestly 
this is the full you know how I was like, oh, finally I'm here where I'm meant to be all my life. No, this is it. This is that place. I thought it was just the tips, but it's a full head of pink hair styled like this. Like, I can't even begin to explain how many years I had a dream of looking like this. And now it's a reality. And I feel like my hair looks like one of my wigs and I'm very happy. I was very worried because as you know, the hair that was further up in my head took the bleach better. So it was a lighter tone. And then down here, it was a little bit more of a level eight, but I really feel like the way that the kind of bubblegum pink blends into more of the rosy pink is actually really cool and gives it dimension. So I'm not worried about it at all. I think it actually looks good. Shockingly, surprisingly, obviously we'll see how many washes this actually lasts for. Maybe I wanna stay pink for a while. Maybe I wanna hop on, on to the purple train. I don't know, but I do feel like this is super me. It's super cute and it's so, perfect for Valentine's Day. I'm so excited for all the outfits that I can wear and match my hair to. As always, you can follow me on Instagram at Kaz the Queen of Glitter, on TikTok at the Queen of Glitter, and right here on YouTube, you can subscribe to the Queen of Glitter. If you want to see more fun hair videos and vintage hauls and other tutorials and DIYs, this is a good place to start. But that's all for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one, but until then, stay sparkly. Bye-bye. Oh man, I'm gonna need another little me to go at the end of videos.